when I was 28, I developed a herniated lumbar disc. I was extremely uh, lucky at that point to get into an experimental low back program at Rancho Los Amigos Hospital. So I was able to recover from that within about five months with no back surgery. When I was 32, I took a fall at a friend's house and was hospitalized again for back pain. Within a few days, I could walk a little bit, but the pain continued. I was trying to do things I had learned at the Rancho Los Amigos, mild exercise, therapy, ice, heat, chiropractor, but I wasn't getting much relief. My chiropractor, whom I trusted, uh, set me up with a locally well-respected well orthopedist. So I went in to see him. Unfortunately, I was still in a wheelchair for walking that far. So I came in. After a long, long wait, he walked in and said, Well, I see you're here for back pain. You weigh over 300 pounds. Therefore, you do not care anything about yourself or your health. You're going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. But that's not that big a deal because you'll only live another 10 years. So I was completely stunned. I'm sure he said other stuff. I don't remember anything except at the end he did say he was such a good guy that he wasn't going to charge me for that visit. <clears throat> so I left. I continued some of my home therapy. I worked with interviewing other orthopedists and did find somebody who would work with me. He actually took five minutes to listen to my experiences and my expectations and discussed therapies and alternatives that didn't have anything to do with my size. What I learned from that, what I feel like is, what if I had actually believed what that doctor had told me? There's a lot of power in words. Luckily, I already had friends who were in the size acceptance movement, so I knew that the doctor was giving me, that first doctor was giving me advice through the veil of his own prejudice about what fat people were like. So I knew I had recovered before, I knew I could recover again. What about patients who take everything to heart, who would really believe what the doctor said and end up in a wheelchair and dead in 10 years? I am resolved when I go to the doctor to have every confidence in the experience of my own body and to work only with doctors that listen to me, understand a little of my experience at least, and can get my expectations for what I want out of healthcare.